Just for the sake of promoting the boy Grimes, you've heard it before. You know what I'm saying? I told you, it's off the chain. You know what I'm saying? Ant knows. Ant knows everything. You know what I'm saying? But getting into the meat of the show, you know what I'm saying? Ant got mad shit thrown out his mailbag, especially since Ant let Remy do his show. You know what I'm saying? Since Remy did his show, and they got considerable amount of responses, most of them negative. But Ant, like I said, Ant was caught down in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? The flights was not coming up here to the proud state of Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? That's why I sit there and say, Stephanie Rollins, Blake, you know, you really did talk a whole lot of stuff about, you know, hit me on the Facebook and the Twitter, you know, about how your roads and streets are but when Ant finally got back to Baltimore Ant Street was not plowed out Ant had to walk in some shit Ant ain't never seen no shit like that you know what I'm saying but check this out moving on you know what I'm saying Ant has to <laughs> this is some funny shit right here uh, a dude named Willis Willis how the fuck do you have the same first name as your last name but anyway Willis Willis won he won the lotto maybe not the whole thing but he won a million dollars the lottery agent the nigga that cast the ticket told him he ain't win shit he ain't win shit Willis walked out of that motherfucker without checking the numbers well, it's your dumb motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Ant is not, you know what I'm saying, you know, passing judgment on you or nothing like that. But come on, Willis. You ain't checked the numbers. A million dollar ticket. But anyway, the lottery agent stole the ticket and then fled to his country. So like I said, Willis won a million dollars. They only recovered 395000 but Willis was happy with that. I ain't going to lie. Ant will be happy with that also. But I would want to reserve the right to slap the shit out. The motherfucker that took my goddamn ticket and then fled the country. What kind of shit is that? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, Ant knows is moving on to the next subject. You know what I'm saying? Now, a motherfucker had an iPhone. An iPhone, you know what I'm saying? And they lost the motherfucker. Somebody, no, 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 they ain't lose it. Somebody stole the shit. They knew somebody stole it. Everybody else's phone was gone. You know what I'm saying? So they got some shit on the iPhone. That if you hook it up with your home computer, you know what I'm saying? That shit can find your iPhone. But nigga turned it on. That's some crazy shit right there. You know what I mean? And they found the nigga iPhone. That's what I'm talking about. This technology shit is getting a little too out of hand. But you know what? It's only if you're a criminal. If you ain't a criminal, you're probably loving it. Because I'm sure the nigga that lost the iPhone is like, yeah, got my iPhone back. <laughs> but look, moving on, like I said, you know, back to some shit with the cell phones. You know what I'm saying? And Merlin, you know, they think a lot of the criminals in the state are running their operations through using the use of cell phones you know I, I I didn't know that people could have cell phones in jail but I'm not hating on nobody that got a cell phone in the pen you know what I'm saying but look they saying now they got some shit that can block your signal you know what I'm saying your signal block now you can't call out. A lot of niggas be like, yo, hit me after nine because it's shit free. No, you can't even call now. 
but the residents in the community was like, hold up. Is it going to block our cell phone? Is that going to block my cell phone? You know what I'm saying? So look, what they did was they did a study. And they, they came up with the fact that it does not block cell phones outside of the jail. We will see. We will see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if people start reporting the fact that they can't get their calls because jail got the cell phone blocked. You know what I'm saying? But hey, moving on. You know what I'm saying? Look, there's some crazy shit right here. The big brother. Al Sharpton. Perman his head type nigga. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's gray, no reaching formula, no kind of die, or nothing. Just the straight, you know what I'm saying? And that nigga used that uh, just for kids shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, look, Al Sharpton's daughter reported that her boyfriend punched her and then pushed her out the car. What kind of shit is that? Why would you do that to Al Sharpton's daughter? Why wouldn't you just say, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, Al Sharpton, you know what I'm saying? Look, but then, peep it though. That was allegedly, you know what I'm saying? That was not no real facts. That was not nothing that was... You know what I'm saying? And still, you know, that wasn't the charge report. You know what I'm saying? Look, what was reported was that she said all that shit, but he reported that all he did was put her out and cussed her out. He said, I ain't throwing no punches. I threw some words at a motherfucking ass. Fake ass motherfucker. Think she Al Sharpton daughter when you know what I mean? Wanna go ahead and say some dumb ass shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm the nigga that fuck with Al Sharpton's daughter. I will kick you the fuck out, bitch. Because I'm on some real shit. The nigga probably was on some real shit. But I ain't going to hate on her. Because you know what I'm saying? You know, aunt, aunt, aunt knows everything. Aunt knows everything. But like I said, we're going to keep it moving to the next subject. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go to clock. It means at the top of the hour. The top of the hour. But anyway, anyway. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. Now, peep this. And those got some crazy shit. What y'all think about this? They said uh, a 12-year-old girl wrote, "I love my two best friends." Uh, they they had their names, but I love Amy Ashley. You know all that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She wrote that on the desk with some. Magic marker, magic marker. You know what I'm saying? And uh, unfortunately, the new the the state of New York said that is vandalism, defacing property. Twelve year old girl got arrested and put in handcuffs for writing all of my two best friends on the desk. Now, what you think? Is just to serve. Don't take your emotions. Don't think about that like that. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. And those ain't saying nothing. Cause I, I don't even want to give you my opinion. I give it to you next show. You know what I'm saying? Next show, you'll feel how Aunt knows feel about the girl that's 12 years old. They got locked up, putting handcuffs. But she wrote something on the desk. You know what I'm saying? But look, peep it. You know what I mean? We're gonna pass it off. You know what I'm saying? Look, Hillary Clinton. Is really trying to start a beef with Iran. Ain't no thing because she's saying all types of stuff, and I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep it moving on that one. How about this? The high altitude, you know what I'm saying? The high altitude Aurora Research Project. Do y'all know anything about that? If you don't, what you do need to do is go to the Google, put in H A. A R P. That stands for Hawk. And then after you do that, pull in Phil Valentine. Phil Valentine. That's one of my homies. That's one somebody to keep him real shit. Phil Valentine. Go ahead. Put that shit in. You know. You know what I'm saying? Phil Valentine, 2010. Will will school you on the Hawk. This ain't knows. I know everything. I'm out of here. Peace.